Good evening, YouTube. So, I'm back again. I'm going to do a tiny haul, and then I'm going to talk about some other stuff. But, <clears throat> let's get right into it. This year, I'm going to do my, pre my preschool kids um, yearbook. So, with that being said, um, six of my kids are graduating, and I'm going to do a yearbook for each kid. Now, I'm the only one in my job who's doing this. We don't actually do it. I just thought it would be, you know, great to do. So, this is the paper I'm going to use. I actually have two sacks, two sacks of this. So, this is Ellen Crane's Memory Big Ideas, especially car style. This one... <clears throat> I got a while back ago, and I do my paper stats. I just saw the micros today, but um, I'm just gonna flip through some pages. Not too much, say so, but just some stuff. Cause you kind of get the idea through the front of the cover. So, let's see about this. Green stuff, scribbles and scribbles. You know, I'm not gonna really go through too much with it, but um, really not. But um. I'm just gonna use this paper for the yearbook. Now, on top of that, you know, on top, on top of doing the, the yearbook, I'm also gonna use chipboard, foam, and this is a big piece and some vinyl. Now, I'm actually gonna use real vinyl for the for the um. For the yearbook, I don't know. I don't know when you guys were growing up back in the, back back in the time we graduated. We we had a yearbook, and you know I had this, which we we didn't know what vinyl was at that point. It was like fake leather, but this is what I'm gonna use. I'm using this vinyl, and teal is the color that I'm using for the um for the yearbook because that's that's the color of my um of my job. And I'm gonna need some frames to place it on top of this. I mean, I, I got the idea. I kind of got everything put together. But um, I already know what I'm gonna do, so this is definitely this vinyl is worth it. I mean, I've never seen anyone to um, you know, I seen the car, I seen the car stock cover, you know, I seen some other um covers for the mini albums, but I'm gonna do a vinyl, and once I'm done with the first one, I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the envelope mini by Kathy Order to do this um yearbook because I think it's much more easier, a little more simpler and the kids and the parents can find a whole bunch of stuff to um, actually look through and flip through. So that being said, let me put this to the side. Let me put this on the side real quick. Okay, so what's the micro today? And I used my 50% coupon, and I also got some other stuff. So, I'm going to talk about what I bought first. I went to the clearance aisle, and, you know, I'm just looking at the clearance aisle, whatever, and I found the slice cutting it, glass Last cut, man. Now, I found an clearance. I paid five ninety nine for it. Five ninety nine. Now, I always wanted a glass mat. You know, I always wanted a glass mat because um, my well, Martha Stewart mat, as you can see, has been done in cuts, scrapes. You know, they say it's self healing. I mean, like. I don't see anything healing about this. Obviously, it doesn't look like it's been healed at all. It looks like it's been um, cut and everything. I barely could see anything on it. I mean, it's been so cut up and all dirty and, and all dirty and stuff like that. But adhesive, I'm not gonna throw it out. I'm gonna use this as like a, um, I don't know, maybe when I'm doing my adhesive or something like that. But I mean, this this glass right here is incredible. So what I'm gonna do? Cause I'm opening. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna open it and check it out together. Not that. That sounds cool. So 
I mean, I don't have the slice machine. No, I just needed a new, a new, I just need a new, a new cutting mat. And while the steel one is great, but I think, you know, I think everything else is at this time. I'm gonna recycle this acetate in it too. By the way, look at that. Free acetate. Look at that. Free acetate. Alright? This is pretty dope. And it's a 12 by 12. Um. 12 by 12 cutter mat. You can take your 12 by 12 sheet scrap paper and put it on top of it. Now, I, I love it. It doesn't move. It doesn't, you know? So, I'm glad I actually got this. I'm, I'm satisfied with this. But, I'm going to put this to the side. And that's not the thing I really wanted to talk about besides the other things that I want to talk about. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the hot light. Now, I have one already, but I have to get a second one. If you don't have one of these, please, by all means necessary, get one. All right? I'm going to tilt the camera up just a little so you can see on a full scale. All right? Boom. That's it. Okay? I'm going to let you know right now, this is the best light ever made. So, Michael's 50% coupon ends tomorrow um, around, you know, the whole day, but it ends Sunday. It, don't, it doesn't end tomorrow, it ends Sunday, but tomorrow's the last day to use it. So if you have a Michael's 50% coupon, make it your best bet to pick up this light. Any kind of crafting or any kind of car making you're making, this is the light for it. I mean, the light I'm using right now for this video is this light. I actually got another one because it's just that great. And I it ran me $59.99. But with the 50% off, I paid like twenty I paid like $29.99 for it. So believe me, purchase this light. You're not losing out. You're not um, you know, if anything, you're gaining, you're not losing. So Trust me, this is not. This is all well worth it, and I'm gonna just be honest with you. I, I mean, out of any light I ever bought, this has been by far the best one. I mean, the best, best, best light ever, ever. So, there's some other stuff I gotta talk about. So, I'm making a scrapbook. I'm actually making a scrapbook. I'm making a mini album for one of my good friends, and we're doing kind of a swap. And, and I've been trying to keep it really a secret. It's not complete. But this is not this is not from Kathy Orta's um any of her tutorials. This is actually from another lady. I, I cannot remember the name. But um I, I don't remember her name. But her mini album is awesome. This is the mini album that I'm doing for Scrap and Diva. So a scrapping diva. So I'm going I'm to I'm flip through it a little bit real quick. I'm not done. I mean, and I actually love it. I'm not fully done with it yet. But I'm going to flip through it a little bit. So I'm going to bring this down just a little. And I'm going to bring this up just a little. Okay, and over. Alright, so this way. Alright, so this mini album is called French connection and I might just change the name but the reason why I call it French connection because it has everything to do with French now the paper that I used for it hold on give me a second the paper that I hold on so the paper I use for this is um, Michael's Recollections Union Square this paper, I mean, you're talking about reds and blacks and, and creams and ivories and 
and you know stripes and glitter and you know this, this paper I mean it reminds me of you know it reminds me of that 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 postal cards cards postal something like that I can't really get the name straight but it reminds me that you know it reminds me of like collage paper I, I love this but I'm not gonna go through too much through it though but it has its blacks you know reds it's it's an awesome it's an awesome paper so that's what I'm using for this for this album all right so I'm gonna open the album and I'm gonna talk about it again canvas backing I know I know um some people asking about a tutorial with the canvas backing I'm gonna do it most likely I'm I'm gonna do it actually I'll do it when I'm done I actually buying this album and use this as somewhat of a semi tutorial because I don't really know if um you know if I'm gonna um do it again. Nine out of ten I probably will when I do my when I do my when I do my kids yearbooks but I might not I might just use the vinyl as the binding. So I haven't figured I, I have not really figured that out yet how I'm gonna do the binding but enough being said so what I did with this Plain canvas once again. What I do is, I use the stamp it up. Um, uh, etch, etch, sketching some that artist etching, artist etching. There you go, artistic etching. So I use that. The Paris, the, um, you know, a more thing. In the case may be for this. So that being said, I use that, and then I pleated some ribbon. I use some Prima roses. Some mud store glitter, as always. You guys know I love love that mud store glitter. Then I use, and I actually use, you know, I'm a, I actually use this Eiffel Tower here, but it's kind of cut off a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. So I glittered up the um the paper with some with some gold mist, stamped it with some um, retired stamp it up stamps that I have, distressed it with some um, vintage photo. I love the way how I kind of like made it look like a uh, Kind of highlighted a little bit. I love that fact. I love the fact that I highlighted it. So let, let, let's let's turn. Let's get into the first. I'm gonna say the first couple pages. You know, couple has not meaning two, but a couple. So here we go. Boom. Look, a prima leaf. So, all right. So this is the side. Now I don't like. I said I don't remember the person who did the tutorial, but I love it, and I'm gonna do it again. But I'm gonna actually do a smaller mm. version of this. So. The beginning, the first page, it looks like this. All right? And then the pockets flip up. One. And it has whatever here. Two. Three. All right? One, two, three. And there's a loading pocket here. So loading pocket on top. And, on the, and, and you flip to the side. Now... I'll be honest with you, a lot of these images I stamped. The paper did not come like this. I stamped something. I stamped images to get it like to get it kind of the way I wanted it with the theme going on. Then you have here another sliding loading pocket. Right here. And what I did was I kind of alternated. I put a pocket here too, also. Stamped again. Now everything goes to everything is kind of I kind of had everything kind of color coordinated. So again, pocket here. Let me get my bone for a look, because that'll be so much easier to um I don't know where it's at, but I need something flat. So I actually can actually show where the pockets are. I'll use my color bees. So pocket here. Pocket. And then pocket on top. Okay. Rip it over. Now this is the same Eiffel Tower I used in the front, but I covered it. So what I did was I used the same type of paper that I did before and used it for this instead. So actually this is right here is a double pocket. So and this fits this fits some tags. So a tag will go in here. See so a tag will go inside here. Must give me such a hard time, but so it's heck. 
Okay. Ty goes in here. And then the paper here again. These are the mat yet. So pockets are the mat. Alright. So here we go again. Boom. Bam. So here you go. Bring it down just a little so you can see what's going on. Alright. So then this I love this page. I love with the whole birds and all that. I, I stamped the birds in here. I stamped the crowns. Just stressed a little bit. So the tag is this. This is the tag. And then I kind of did a tab. You see, I kind of did a tab right here with the stamp it up. The tired ink, uh, tired stamp set. Clearly for you. Definitely check it out. It's a good stamp set. Clearly for you. C. L E A R Y L Y C L E A R L Y Y O U. Clearly for you. It's a retired set. I got it off eBay. I mean, honestly, it's the best set. I love it. And then the mask side. Because she loves the whole the mask theme and the whole. But, you know. Yeah. I love it. Alright, so then. Got the next page. Ah, this, you know, I did the whole typewriter thing with the pen because of the words. And that's why I did that. This is this is this is crazy. I, I love this album. This album's dope. And I mean, I'm not even done with it. I'm not even done with the whole embellishments and everything that kind of goes goes with it. I'm not even done yet. I'm so excited about it. Uh, again, another side loader pocket. You know, the mask page. I just love this right the whole old typewriter. I love it. And it's embossed. It's beautiful. And again, the paper again. So, and then Jador. You know, you know, again, side low pocket right here. Top loading. And I didn't do the back yet. So when this is completely done, you know, with all the binding and everything like that, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna um upload it again before I send it out to her. When it's fully completed, embellishments and everything, I just want to show you guys, you know, kind of what I'm working on and all the good stuff. So, that being said, everything that's going on and with all this that I got, and tons of tons of assignments and, and, and you know, stuff I got to do. Check out the I like. Definitely YouTube it. Google it. Check it out. It's one of the best lights ever. All right, so I'm gonna actually give you the name before I actually sign out. So you go into Michael's Creative HD Outlight. Make sure it says Folding Craft Lamp. Make sure it says that Folding Craft Lamp. Make sure because that's. I mean, they have some other ones too, but honestly, this is the cheapest folding folding one I saw. There was some that was eighty nine ninety nine. There was some that was seventy nine ninety nine. There was even one lamp that was like $24.99 in clearance, but it didn't it didn't fold. So if you want to get that one, I mean by, by all means necessary, get it and get it. But this one, Creative Outlight, $59.99. It's the cheapest, you know, folding lamp there is. And I mean I'm hyped about it. I, I love this lamp. Also, you know, if you use a 40% coupon, you don't get a chance to use a 51, it comes out to like 34 and some change. So still you still save almost twenty five dollars you know getting the getting the light but believe me after you use this light you will not want to use another yellow cheap hundred watt light bulb because this is see clearly and clearly you see what this light I mean I cannot complain I mean if you can see what I can see I mean you see it with detail you understand detail look at that and that's what the light, like that's what the light really is. So it's, it's impressive. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Signing out. Scrap mail.